Hi, one and only rich man here playing as the dwarves. We're playing on Castle Drakenhof. Playing against my uh, friend Cursing Carp, and he's playing as the High Elves. I am doing a heavy Iron Breaker build. I really like their uh, leadership and their blasting charges at range. I'm also having artillery of gob goblobbers. They are the tier 3 artillery. And I really love the Scolder Guard, Iron Drakes. They really tear through infantry of armor piercing. And my long or iron beard. Iron breakers tend to well hold the line till the death. For anything anti-large, I have the Dragonback Slayers. They are uh, anti-large and they're fast movers. And last but not least, my hero and lord. My hero is the Runesmith. I want him to add additional armor protection with more leadership and Belagar the Iron Hammer with more of his leadership and buffs of armor. My competitor, Cursing Carve, went with a very mobile, irritating build. Uh, he did not come with enough archers, in my opinion, uh, to support his main line. The uh, missile cavalry was a nice touch. They were very, very annoying to deal with, and the chariots were very annoying to deal with. He has two units of both, and his uh, dragon princes extremely good for the high elves and he has tons of armor piercing on his main line and I think his lord right here Teclas who was a good choice for his range uh, he lacked range for his main line and he had another wizard lore master uh, he cast some phoenix that was irritating to deal with my front line. So as we move here, I notice he's in these trees to my right. So I had to completely readjust my line. And get my goblobbers from my artillery into position. I always keep my dragon backs dragon back slayers in the back lines and extend my iron breakers off to the side for artillery or for cav run bys. So I tend to do this. I decided to extend outward this way because I didn't see the cav unit and I'm pretty sure I changed the direction that they're facing. So I decided to wait here. My goblobbers. Funny, funny artillery. <laughs> Screaming goblins through the air. As he uh, starts rushing in, I am picking units that are most threatening to my frontline iron breakers, which is armor piercing. So, I don't want to hit the cav unit because they're too fast. I decide to go for the sword masters. Oeth. After I chunk like a, thir a third of their HP pool, I tend to retarget to a different unit. I decide to get out my blasting charges and try to rush down the cab, but this uh, little mountain gets in the way and they pull off behind when I wish they went this way to the other side. So, they're aiming for my Dragonback Slayers, Cursing Carp was, and I just thought this was a good opportunity to push and get some good damage. 
I should have moved my dragon back uh, away from him to create create them to move closer to my iron breakers. I thought they would have a better time, the dragon back and slayers, to catch them and have these guys, the iron breakers, catch up. I get net of Amontox by one of his lords. Let's go into a cinematic slow motion here as the two main units for the front lines clash. The iron breakers jumping in the air as the sword masters slash and just chop up my guys with their armor piercing but they hold very well my arm breakers blasting charges going off in the back duking it out awesome sight we actually get a few of them down here and my iron drakes are just blasting with armor piercing almost looks like steam bullets and just crushing the main line back at normal speed my opponent gets amazing back charges my iron drakes cast phoenix on my main line dealing great damage more rear charges Superior mobility. Trying to deal with these cav missile cavalry. I decided to do a recharge of my own with the Dragon Black Slayers. The cav was still focused on my Dragon Black Slayers. Almost got him. Great rear charge on his main cav, Dragon Princes. The leadership starts wavering and routing starts to happen with my iron back, iron breakers. My left flank and my left side of the line is getting totally crushed because of rear charges. But my right side is holding strong. The wizard of Hoeth, or the lore master of Hoeth is completely soloing an iron breaker force. I mean he does have anti-infantry and armor piercing. He is a very good unit. And I don't manage to give my leadership buff off in time to save these iron breakers from routing. He decides to keep pushing against them, but I move my Iron Breakers in to break them, route them, and maybe get my other Iron Breakers back. Ready to strike! My Iron Drakes kind of kind of got confused here. They kept going up and down this hill, and I was trying to make them get in a line and shoot at the infantry. That would have made a huge difference. Ready to shoot. The Iron Drakes do a massive job here. They only have 16 kills, though, but they do a great amount of damage. Here comes another Phoenix cast hit. I instantly pull up a lot of leadership and and buffs. Not the greatest Phoenix casted, but did a good amount of damage. Runesmith putting in work. Iron Hammer doing tons of work. Stacking my buffs. Tying up the cav and the chariots as much as possible. Keeping Teclas out of the picture. Ready to strike! Iron Drake's 
getting rid of these chariots. I want to get rid of all the fast movers as quickly as possible so I can surround the remaining forces that are less mobile. I start doing some AoE damage casted by my Lord, Iron Hammer. Actually does some pretty good damage and uh, helps these Iron Breakers. These Iron Breakers have 25 kills. The Missile Cavalry did not do as well as I thought they did. I only have 25 kills. I'm sure they'll get some more, but not very much more because they're out of ammo. Same with these guys, only 13 kills. Chariots, only 12 kills. Chariot over here, only 22 kills. I think the Swordmaster Hoeth, or Loremaster Hoeth, keep getting that name wrong. Only 12 kills for armor piercing and tank infantry. Routing units all over the place. This lore master of Hoeth is not being very cost effective in my opinion. But this battle is extremely close. A lot of routing on my hands. Especially for how much uh, leadership these guys have in the 90s. They are staying with me. I'm still trying to get these Iron Drakes to get in the line, get some hurt. And I send my Iron Hammer in on, on Hoeth. I just put in a command for my Iron Breakers to do a nice rear charge on Hoeth. Duking it out one on one, no one messing with them. Access out. And then I get a full surround. It is an order. And he instantly routes. Almost dead, 80 HP. I decide to chase him off as quickly as possible. And move to attack. Go after the other lore master. I did not notice he had two of them. Where is uh, Teclus? Teclus over here is actually holding his own. Only four kills. Dragon Prince, 51 kills. Definitely cost effective. Probably the greatest cavalry that the High Elves have. And that is the end with a great fight by Cursing Carp. Tons of armor piercing, tons of mobility. Let's see what we got here. So I have deployed 642, lost 398, only had 244 remaining. My greatest troop was the Iron Breakers. Dragon Backslayers did really well. A lot better than I thought they did. I didn't notice, I don't know, they, I think, got wiped off a little bit early, but they did put in some decent work before they did. But the Iron Breaker is very cost effective. Did tons of work. Pretty sure this unit got wiped out by one of the uh, Lore Masters and probably Dragon Prince combo. My lord and hero just tied down as many of their lords and heroes. 94 kills on sword masters. And 72 definitely doing work. The missile cavalry and chariots I felt like did not do the greatest. Probably should have gone with another dragon prince. And replace uh, the chariots. Maybe kept one of the missile infantry just to bother me. And the lore masters did not do that great. Teclos didn't do that great, but neither did my lore or hero. He only had 94 remaining. And I got a pretty, 
pretty tough victory. And Cursing Carp did really well and tried to exploit the armor on the dwarves and my lack of mobility. And I hope you enjoyed the game and much more content to come on Total War Warhammer 2. See you guys in the next video.